Every day, Pella looked forward to time spent with her pet ladybugs. And they quite appreciated the fairy's company as well. Welcome to Pixie Nook by Certainly Caroline. Take a small piece of clay and roll it out using your hands to form a tiny ball. Cut the ball in half and create an egg-like shape. You might want to keep in mind that real ladybugs are about 8 to 10 millimeters in size. Cut off the tip of the oval shape. This is where the head will go. This black part here is kind of like the neck of the ladybug. I believe the term for it is pronotum, but we certainly wouldn't want to be too technical about things, so we'll just call it the ladybug's neck. Join these two pieces together, kind of smoosh them a little bit, and check to make sure the proportion is correct. The pronotum on a ladybug is about one millimeter. Cut off excess clay so that the pronotum kind of rounds in. Score a line along the center of the neck and the back. Cut off a bit of clay for the head and roll it around until you get kind of an oval shape and then squish it onto the neck. Now get out your dotting tool and gently press and create five small indents into the body of the ladybug. I found it helpful to look up images of ladybugs online and I just looked for a kind of a pattern or what was common and I found that that middle dot by the head is very very common so you might want to make sure you do get that dot in the middle by the head create a very thin roll of black clay cut off some pieces and roll them into very very tiny balls and insert into your craters and then use your dotting tool to kind of squish them in repeat the same process for the neck and the head only use white palmer clay for the dots Roll up just a bit of white and clip off some pieces. Roll them into little balls and add to the neck. Use your dotting tool to push them down. Use your smallest dotting tool to create the indents on the head. You only need a very tiny bit of white clay for the head. This ladybug's looking super cute so far, and you can totally skip this next step if you want. Or you can add some more detail by adding legs. To add legs, just flip over your ladybug, get your smallest dotting tool, and just make some dots on the back. Once you've made your indents, go ahead and bake your clay according to your clay's instructions. Use black sewing thread for the feet. Cut your pieces large enough so that they're easy to handle. You can trim them later. Squirt some super glue into a little container or a sheet of tin foil so that it's easy to get to. Soak your pieces a bit in the super glue before adding them to your ladybug. Add the legs one at a time, carefully and slowly. Just take your time. If you try to rush this part, the legs will fall out and it'll get frustrating. So have patience and add them slowly. Once you've added all the legs, give it a rest for a minute. Don't do anything to it. And then reinforce the legs with some more super glue with either your dotting tool or a toothpick. After reinforcing with more super glue, let it dry completely. Once the glue has hardened, cut your ladybug's legs to the size that you prefer. If you just want ladybugs to display, you can stop right here or these are really fun to make into stud earrings. Use the same clay that you use to make your ladybugs and roll it out in your pasta machine and then cut out two little circles. A small dot of super glue helps to temporarily hold the earring back to the ladybug. You're actually going to be securing the back with the clay piece, but without the super glue, then the metal piece kind of moves all around and it's harder to work with. Score holes on your clay pieces and add a very small amount of liquid glue. It's easy to add way too much liquid glue. You don't need a lot at all. And if you add too much, then it gets difficult to work with. Use your rubber tip tool or any kind of sculpting tool and taper off the edge of the clay pieces so that it fuses well with the ladybug. Be sure to get some of the clay over the legs as well. Bake according to the directions of your polymer clay. As a finishing touch, add gloss varnish for a shiny shell look.
Pella the Pink Fairy and her pink ladybugs are available at the Pixie Nook Etsy shop. <laughs>